hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know who i am hi i'm janice i forgot to film an intro for this so i'm doing that right now in today's video i'm making a part two of my girl talk series you have so many interesting questions and dilemmas i'll be discussing plus i'm also going to be styling a wig that was sent to me from julia hair so get your popcorn and stay tuned because it's going to be an interesting video Straight from London, girl looking cute on her counter. But she came through on the dance floor. Got my feelings so now she wonder. Yeah. So first of all, I want to show you the packaging of the hair. Now this is what the hair came in. It has the company name Julia Hair. I don't think you can really see it. But yeah, there are all these cute, cute headbands. So this is what the hair is looking like before I put it on. As you can see, the curls are looking beautiful. This is the headband pad right there. It has a whole bunch of clips that I'll use. And yeah, let me just put this on and we'll get right into the video. Right now, I've just put the wig on and I have put in all the clips. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is what the headband looks like. So there's this like sticky thing. You just put it behind your head. You can adjust to make it as tight or loose as you want. And yeah, it is going to stay. Just make sure you use the clips as well. Don't just rely on this because this can easily, you know, shift or move, whatever. Because I didn't do my edges before putting it on, I have just pull this back i'm just going to do my edges a little bit i really don't want them to be extra today these are what the edges are looking like right now they are not too much they're quite simple but they still look neat which is what i was going for okay right now i'm going to get into the girl parts of this video whilst i do my makeup i will comb up the hair and see what exactly i want to do with it when i'm done with my makeup so let's just get into that part so i didn't put out another question tag for um girl talk questions i just went back to the first one i did when i filmed the first episode of this series because there was so many i didn't answer now the first question is what is your take on dating your friend's ex <sighs> guys i just want to go straight up ahead and say like no don't do it like don't I feel like there's so many reasons why you shouldn't do it it's not even with like even like putting aside like girl code and all that i don't know i feel like it depends on how close you and that friend are if it's like your best friend that's really shady because if you can date your best friend's ex it means whilst they were together you were probably having feelings for, for him and like that's really really shady honestly if i was your best friend in dating my ex i don't think i'd want to be friends with you again not to mention how awkward it might be when we're in a relationship i was probably telling you guys telling you about all our problems as and now you are dating him but i feel like if it's just like a friend like you're not like best friends like you're just friends maybe there might not be like so much of a problem at the end of the day you like who you like so it's kind of difficult to say oh like that was my friend's ex so even though i like him i'm not going to pursue it because that's kind of difficult to do when you like someone you like the person there's nothing to be done about it I think the best advice I can give you is to try your best to not make the situation awkward for your friend. Like, don't force your friend to come to get together so where you are there with your boyfriend, which was her ex. Like, that's just very uncomfortable for her or him. You may need to set up some kind of boundaries because both of them may find the whole situation very awkward. Now, the next question actually made me laugh. <laughs> So it's, do girls like when guys are mean or do they like sweethearts? Hmm. This one, how am I supposed to answer it for all girls? I mean, everyone has their preference. So I'm not going to talk about personally. Actually, I know someone that actually likes mean boys. I'm not one of these people. A guy needs to be a sweetheart to me, okay? If a guy comes and starts being mean to me, I'm out. 
straight up like i'm very sensitive why would you just come and be mean to me and you think that's attractive in what world is that attractive i mean yeah everyone has their preference i guess if there's someone that likes me guys okay do you boo so i can only answer this personally and personally i do not like when guys are mean now the next one is how to get over insecurities for example i think my tummy is too big okay so i think everyone has insecurities to some extent definitely some people more than others i remember somewhere last year i actually made a series about this on my ig lives i used to go live i think once a week talking about insecurities and bullying and all of that and one point i always kept stressing on was you're never going to get over your insecurities if you don't love yourself first the truth is if someone comes and tells you that you're ugly and you believe that you're ugly it's going to affect you me as i'm here i know i'm a pretty bee so if someone comes to me that i'm ugly it will not do, like it will not touch me it will not the only thing maybe i'll get upset because like that's very rude and disrespectful but i will never feel insecure i'll never actually feel maybe this person is right maybe i'm ugly because i know i'm not ugly i know i'm beautiful so i always say the first step to getting over your insecurities is to reach that point where you don't look down on yourself because if you look down on yourself other people are going to so easily look down on you I know it's a lot easier said than done but you should really try i'm not going to sit here and lie that i don't have insecurities once in a while i think everyone has insecurities i don't know how i get to wear it i think i just do like it eventually just goes so maybe you should keep that in mind that you're just going to get over this stage eventually this is how you're feeling right now and try your best not to compare yourself to others one is i feel like my best friend is choosing other people over me what should i do yeah, the person also added that i don't want to cut her off honestly i don't think you should cut her off unless maybe she's been a bad friend to you i mean i feel like we've all been there i've definitely been there where i've been very jealous because my best friend is spending more time with someone else and not me I mean that feeling of being neglected is really not a nice feeling no one deserves to feel like that the best advice i can give you is to try and talk to your best friend about it see if that would make a difference go to her let her know okay this is the situation i'm not happy about the fact that i feel like you're my best friend and you are choosing other people over me you're spending more time with other people that you could be spending with me of course your best friend also has a life and she can't really spend time with whoever she wants but i don't think it should reach the extent that she's neglecting you i think you should also try to understand that your best friend may also be finding new people that she's interested in it doesn't mean that she loves you he or she loves you any less it just means maybe he or she is also getting along with other people it may not be her mind or his mind that okay i'm replacing you or whatever it's like try to keep that in mind as well the next question is how to be emotionally strong i think it is okay to let your emotions you know be all about the place once in a while it's okay to cry it's okay to show that you care it's not always you have to be hard guy hard guy i mean yeah once in a while you should be hard guy and i guess that just comes with being hit a lot of times even though that sounds really sad let me just throw myself out right now i have this toxic trait when i'm fighting with someone it's not like i don't care that we are not talking i mean i do care that we are not talking obviously but i'm able to shut it off like i'm able to not think about you for one week i can go without thinking about you i can go without like thinking about the fact that we are not talking i feel like it's because i've gone through a lot of situations where my days were ruined my weeks were ruined like a lot of my time was ruined because i was sad because of what someone had done or someone hurt my feelings and it just ruined a lot of things that could have been good memories because of that experience i developed the ability 
to be able to shut it off so right now and like it's kind of a toxic trait because for example i'm in a relationship and when i do that it doesn't help either of us because if we are fighting yeah we need to acknowledge the fact that there is a problem and come and talk about it but i can go three days without thinking about you without budging to talk about it because you know i'm not thinking about their situations so obviously i'm fine there's nothing wrong with me <laughs> sometimes you need to feel to be able to see okay this is the problem this is how i'm feeling so you can express your feelings and move on if you just do hard guy hard guy you're never going to be able to solve the problem if someone breaks your heart there are still people out there that love you okay <laughs> the next one is i know you have to be independent but is taking money from your man bad i'm not going to come here and say see if you take money from your man blah 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 like i'm not going to do that i mean i feel like there's an extent to it for example i watch blue therapy here and i just okay i've only watched like the first two episodes and that girl deborah talking about my man is my provider honestly that is an embarrassment okay how can your man be your provider i see god we are in the 21st century no man is your provider please if your man is well to do and he wants to do nice things for you great you have that opportunity but if you are on this earth to be waiting for men to come and do nice things for you come and provide for you please what are you doing with yourself that's all i can say i don't want to like offend anyone because obviously there are people with that mindset i guess we all have a cup of tea personally i feel like you can't rely not even on a man you can't rely on anyone so you have to be able to provide for yourself you have to be able to work for yourself do things for yourself if he can give you and he wants to give you he's able to give you he has no problem giving you don't take your sis i mean we all deserve to be spoiled once in a while we all deserve to feel like princesses i feel like there's no problem in being spoiled or being treated like a princess nothing like that but like don't go be and be forcing somebody's son to buy you gucci bags to buy you this okay that's also somebody's son okay <laughs> relax the next question is how to shave properly down there well as i've officially left the shaving club i don't shave anymore guys i wax like waxing all in all if you take out the pain aspect which is a lot it's still a much better um it's still a much better option because it reduces razor bumps the hair takes a lot longer to grow you probably just need to wax maybe once a month like that's how long the hair takes to grow so yeah you should definitely consider it i'm definitely someone that can't handle pain but i still did it so you should consider waxing but yeah shaving i don't know about ways shave down there you can search on youtube or you'll be surprised what you find on youtube I heard you should exfoliate before you shave you should use a clean and sharp blade because if your blade isn't clean and it's blunt you are going to create ingrown hairs also you should never shave against the hair you should always shave in the direction that the hair is so if your hair is green like this you should shave like this you shouldn't shave like this okay guys i'm finally done with my makeup i kept it quite simple nothing too extra now that i'm done with that i think i want to comb through the hair i'm scared i may ruin the curls but also i feel like i kind of need to should i do this i'm going to do it guys Ooh. okay it's not that bad actually it's not that bad i'm just going to comb through not too much just to you know loosen the curls a bit okay now that i've done that i'm trying to decide which headband i want i saw this and it has like a bit of yellow in it so i wanted to kind of match my outfit but i'm not sure okay this is what the first one is looking like i mean it's not bad i'm not sure if i like it let's try another one this is my next option um i feel like i prefer this a lot more to the other one so i'm going to stick with this for now and yeah it's cute let me just show you guys the hair isn't like too thick it's so light on my head like i don't even feel like i have this wig on it's so light and it bounces perfectly so easy to style as you guys saw all i did was brush it out i didn't do anything 
I didn't press the top down. It falls so effortlessly. Now guys, if you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, definitely be sure to please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you would like to yeah let me know if you enjoyed this episode of girl talk hey, next time i'll post a new question tag so you guys can go ahead once again and send me all your dilemmas i will try to advise you to the best of my knowledge <laughs> if you disagree with anything i said definitely let me know in the comments and let us discuss Guys, if you agree with anything I said, let me know as the well. Now, all the information to this hair will be in the description box below, plus a discount code for all of you, of course. Today's post notification shout out goes to Queenie May. Shout out to you. Thank you for all your love and support. If you also want to post notification shout out, all you have to do is click the bell button beside the subscribe button and comment under one of my videos. And with that being said, guys, I'll be back with more videos. Peace.